Hey everyone, Sukanya here. Today we're going to be taking a look at this integral as well as a new theorem slash formula to solve this integral. But first, let's take a look at the integral. Integration 0 to 2 pi of 1 over 1 plus e to the power of sine x dx. I notice that in this integral we have a trigonometric function which is sine x and our bounds are 0 to 2 pi which makes perfect sense since sine of 2 pi is perfectly valid, right? So now let's move on to our formula. So we have if f of x is continuous on 0 to 2a, in other words, if f of x is continuous from its lower bound to its upper bound, then integration 0 to 2a of f of x dx is equal to integration of a, so not 2a, but just a, of f of x, which was our original function over here, plus f of 2a minus x dx and yes this is a real formula the function or f of x does not have to be an even function it doesn't have to be odd it just needs to be continuous on 0 to 2a so let's actually apply this formula to our integral right over here so right off the bat i see that 2a corresponds to 2 pi over here so that has to mean a has to be equal to pi once again, A is a constant. Now I think we're all ready to go. We're actually just going to put everything we know on the right side of the equation. So our original integral is equal to integration of 0 to A over here. That's A, so 0 to pi of f of x. f of x is this expression over here from our question plus f of 2a minus x and this is actually going to be 2 pi minus x because we said a was pi so f of 2 pi minus x so i'm going to rewrite it as 1 over 1 plus e to the power of sine of 2 pi minus x dx and according to our trigonometric identities i know that sine of 2 pi minus x is equal to minus sine x so i'm going to rewrite this integral in terms of minus sine x all right and i'm going to simplify this a bit more i'm going to get rid of that negative and that negative sine x all right so after i've simplified this now i'm ready to add these so we have zero to pi of one plus e to the power of sine x and then it has the same denominator so one plus e to the power of sine x and you can see that this and this cancel out so we're just left with 0 to pi and then 1 dx and from here this is a pretty easy integral to solve so our final answer is just going to be pi.